Amen. Your help will come from Zion. Amen. Your help, your help. Yes. And I realize every one of us need help. Yes. Hello? Or is there anybody that is uh, overgrown? We all need one. Help. I'm here to tell you, your help will come. Yes. Zion is a place of worship. Yes. Zion is a place where God dwells. The book of Psalms says, The Lord loved the gate of Zion more than any other gate in Jerusalem. You are in the right place. Amen. I don't care any type of help you need. People that you see in the cold weather like this, I call them the genuine ones. In this cold weather, you still make sure you are in the presence of the Lord. Your help will come from Zion in the name of Jesus Christ. And when you are talking about help, it can be mental help. It, m most of us, many of us, we need mental transformation. Satan, Satan has bombarded our mind with all sort of, you know, sort of thoughts. That your help will come. Amen. We talk about what we need financial transformation. Oh, yes. I said your help will come. Amen. Talk about what is in our careers. Your help will come. Amen. Talk about what is in our legal issue. Yes. Your help will come. Amen. Talk about what is in our marriage. Your help will come. Amen. Talk about what is in our head. Your help will come. Amen. Talk about what is in our expectation. Yes. Your help, your help will come. Somebody is, I receive my help tonight. I and we are going to start from Psalm 20, verse 1. Say, the Lord, hear thee in the day of It means we have God who hears. We have what? We have God. That's why because we are about to pray. Um, we are here to tell you that we have God who saw who does what, who hears. He knows your pain. He know, as you are sitting down, I may not know. But he knows what? He knows your pain. You know, and I realize many times when I be in the labor room, I realize that the one inside the pain understand the pain better. <laughs> the doctor can tell you if this way they can advise you what to do. You realize that the one in pain understand better. The Bible said the Lord will hear you when you are talking about trouble. <laughs> trouble does not permit does not take permission before it comes. Amen. But thank God the Bible said that. Many are the affliction of the righteous, uh, but the Lord delivers. Uh, the Lord delivers. Is there any trouble I read for you this year? Mm. As a result of your prayer tonight, every satanic strategies and plan, power to sponsor trouble in your life shall be shattered in the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. It's me tonight. The Lord will hear you in Amen. the name of trouble. Amen. And he said, The name of the God of Jacob. <laughs> when you are talking about defend, it, 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 it's a judicial time. When you need to, to, to validate certain issue, there's a contest between two people. People are, it's mine, it's normal. You need somebody to come and defend you. You need a lawyer. You need an advocate that say, no, this is my, 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 the man, the one I'm speaking for. He has right according to the law of God. And the Bible is saying that the name of God, hey, it means the name of Jesus will defend you. Amen. And it's me, can I ask how many name of him you know? A time is coming, I will go to tell you his name. He says, Shaddai, you turn into prayer. The Bible let us know that the name of God is a validator of your life. It's to be a witness that every written word of God, every logo word of God will become Roman in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, His name will defend you. When the enemy thought they want to, the enemy thought they want to mess around that name, they did not know he asked God whose name is a consuming fire. They didn't know he asked God, who is a Leo is a lion of the tribe of Judah. Guess what they do? They throw lion out of conspiracy inside the den of physical lions. Some of what we are facing physical trouble. <laughs> but we have God that is greater than trouble. No, no, neither do they know that Daniel has a lion of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> and when the lions of the tribe of Judah saw the physical lion, you know what happened? They bow. It, 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 it means in your life, the name of Jesus will enter your life. Amen. We enter your home. Amen. We enter your spirit. Amen. We enter your soul. Amen. We enter your blood pressure. Amen. The name of Jesus is a defender. Amen. When you look at the name of the name of Jesus Christ, have you just spoke to them? He said, Tell him, God has sent me so that he will spare you, so that you will not share the blood of Nava. He said, Because as his name is, so is his life. Foolishness is one in him. When you look at the name of someone, it shows who they have. It shows their capacity. It shows, and that is why church, we must know that church remains a solution house. Church what? It's, a, it's the only solution to the journey of men. 
Although there has been enough of misrepresentation about the church. And that does not deny God's power in the church. But tonight, in the name of the Lord, when you are talking about his name, we call him Rehoboth. You know the meaning of Rehoboth? Rehoboth is God that fights the people that fight you. It's God that make a way. It means this year, God will make a way for you. The name of Jesus Christ, the Bible called, called spoke to Joseph, Mary, he said, you will have a son, you will call his name Emmanuel. And Emmanuel means that name will begin to defend you. Amen. I don't know any areas where you need help. Some of us, you, are, you have alpha certain things, you need to meet guide. You get no power. When you meet the power of the Lord defend you, he speak for you, he guide you, he lead you, he make a way for you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. A righteous one not to read and I say, the same name of the Lord first to say, send you help from the sanctuary. Tonight, help me come for you. Amen. I, I said you will receive Amen. help. I, I said you will be massively help. Amen. I read about a king in the Bible. The Bible says he did what was right in the, in the hands of the Lord, in the eyes of the Lord. And the Bible says he was massively helped. He, 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 he surrounded with help, but there are people sitting down now. You know what? You, you need timely helpers. Hallelujah. When timely helpers come, they pick you from where you are. It doesn't matter what you don't have. They take you from where you're supposed to be. Anywhere your timely helpers is. Hello? Divine angels. They will, be, they will be the one to come to you. They will propose solution to you. And they will make themselves available. Hey! I've met one like that in United Kingdom. In the past, where you are going is not my way, but my car is available. I will take you there. When she took me there, she said, I'm going to wait for you. She has never known me for so long no, from nowhere. He carried my bag, bought the leather, bought the handbag, bought the hand luggage, carried everything. He said, Pastor, I'm not going to leave you until you see where you are going. When I saw it, he said, I'm not going to let say, Will you come go down? Say, No, I'm not going to leave you until you enter. And God, may the Lord send you a timely help. Amen. May the Lord send you. When the timely help has come, they are lifters. Amen. <laughs> hey, they don't need to know you for so long. There's a divine conviction that this one, I must help him. May the Lord send you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm strengthening you out of Zion. I know all of us need strength. Yeah. Any area where you are weak, set and throw arrows of weakness to us. Because you know that when we are weak, you can have no power. Any area where you are weak, the Lord will strengthen you in the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So he said, remember all your offering. That is what offering. Somebody say Offering. offering. Every area that you have been giving offering, we have monetary offering, money offering. What you have been giving to God is not in vain. If I encourage you, let's double our offering this year. You must promote yourself in every area. In your offering, God wants to do what? God wants to reward you. He said, remember all your offerings, financial offering, your prayer offering. Some of us, we are sitting down now. Our sitting down is an offering. It's a sacrifice. Why? Because it's not easy. You have to sacrifice everything it takes for you to be in the midweek. What is this service? It's an offering. The Bible asks me to tell you that God will remember. Amen. And he said, and accept your bonds. When you look at the content of all bond offering, bond offering is supposed to be born on the altar, completely complete. It is the ashes that will be poured on the one that do the sacrifice. In another one, any other way you have been sold your life out to God. And I want to call it to this year, let's sold our life out to God. Amen. For you know that your labor is the Lord. Your offering is the Lord. Your timing is the Lord. Whatever you are doing to advance the purpose of God. God was speaking to me today. Esther, God said, Esther, you need to go for more understanding. Nobody wants to sit down in a place where there's no transformation. No. Nobody. Everybody wants to go to a place where there's a destiny and destination. Where their lives are moving forward. It is my prayer. May the, may the Lord remember all your offering. Amen. Your prayer offering. Amen. Coming like this in the cold. Excuse me, it's not an easy task. That you go, many people can go to the court, they go to all the appointments. 
The kids that got it, they go. The schools, they go. They want to buy bread, they go. The only place they cannot go when it's called is the church. That is a sign of end time. But it's my prayer tonight. The Lord will remember you. The Lord will remember you. First of all, say, grant you, hey, according to your heart's desire, and fulfill all your counsel. You say, my own say counsel, your own say plan. It means you must have a plan. Because you have a God that answers prayer. You have God that will give you a divine backing. You have God that cannot fail. You have God with two more things are possible. We have God who is able, and I have told you, God has designed the church to be the house of solution. It's a house of solution. Where people come and find solution to every problem of life. Where people come who don't want it to them snow all of a sudden. The light is shining darkly, and the darkness cannot comprehend. John, although when you look at the social media, people have mis misrepresented church. Huh. But church, see with me the light of the world. Church, see with me the salt of the world. The Bible who said as we are sitting down today, God is even telling us that the church is a place where God is already waiting for you to fulfill your cancer. That's why you must have a plan. What do you want God to do for you? I discovered yes, but when my children were growing up, I discovered something that I, I, I don't need for myself. What did that mean? In the morning, you bath them, you go to kindergarten. When they are there, you are sweeping, you are cleaning. After that, you do a cow. As you are putting it down, you cannot even sort it out. You are rushing to go and do what? Pick them. You pick them. Assignment. After assignment, you bath them. After that, pick them to bed. Do everything. And as you are doing that, it's already 7 30, 8 30. And as you are doing that, that is also coming. You realize that, oh, and we ask, a day is coming. I will also live for myself. Glory be to God. But the Lord is telling us, people of God. And I now realize now, the only way I can be able to achieve something, we call it a me time. Your own time is when you are able to do something that will take your life forward. I plan daily. I have a daily plan. That today, this is what I want to cover. This week, this is the area I want to cover. This month, this is the area. It, it, to me, this year, I'm giving my own as an example. Do you know that if you don't plan for something, it's as if you don't plan for nothing. The time goes so fast. So if it's not important that you have your spiritual plan, and I've discovered when you mature spiritually, when your life makes progress spiritually, it affects every area of your When you come balance with God, you realize that it has to balance every area of your life. You receive divine direction. You receive divine divine word. You, the Lord begins to guide you. It is so important. God wants to grant you according to your plan. So plan well this year. The year 2022. The word two two it means double double, double honor, double favor, double promotion, double increase, double advancement. Double, <laughs> I don't know what to expect from the Lord. There is a special year that God says he will look down from heaven and give double to his people. Amen. So it's like we will rejoice in his salvation. I said this year you will rejoice. Amen. Oh, I said you will rejoice. Amen. Every source of contemplation, every source of pain in your life shall be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. He said we will rejoice in that salvation and in the name of the Lord our God. Please let God be your God. I love the one in the name of the Lord our God. Not in your own name. Don't stand alone this year. Why? Because out of men will fail you. And I've been able to discuss to, to minister to people who was 48 years in Germany. <laughs> and I sat with the man and we were communicating. Excuse me, longevity has, has no respect. And then I'm saying prosperity has no respect for negativity. Mm. Prosperity, favor, blessing, hey, has no work. When he began to tell me the issue he is going through, and I realized that there's no Jesus at the center. Where is not at the center? If you want Jesus to just be to just be at the first portal of your life, he won't be there. Mm. He's a jealous God. And I said, Sir, what I'm seeing now is Jesus Christ is actually minus. If you can bring him back. To the focus. If you can seek him 
and he began to seek him. 30 years according to him, what he could not achieve for the past 48 years of being in Nero. By the time he took Jesus as his focus, he began to achieve it. He said, Pastor, I didn't know that God is so good like this. The Bible says, he said, you will rejoice in the salvation. The key to your rejoicing is making Jesus your priority this year. Make him what? Go extra mile. Let him know you make him your priority. And the name of our God, in the, do this in the name of God. Set up your banner. What is banner? Banner carries information. Banner is for advertisement. Banner has a priority. Banner has a taste. Banner has a plan. It means everywhere you are, be there in the name of the Lord. Set up your banner. Let your banner be first God in my life. Amen. Let your banner be when you wake up in the morning. Nobody no see you in your room. You just woke up. You lift up your holy hand. You say, God, I'm setting up my banner this morning. I acknowledge you as the owner of my life. I acknowledge you as my God. I acknowledge you as my power. You are my rebel. You are my strength. You are, ah! In the name of the Lord, set up your banner this year. You know, there are many areas in which people set up their banners. You can, you can set up your banner in the name of men. You can set up your banner based on your experience. This man was talking to me. He got to a time, according to him, in the early, in some years of his life, he was able to get two or three thousands in a day when he has a business. And the spirit told him, the money is coming in, going to 50 to 60 thousand in a month. He asked him to open a beer parlor. <laughs> and, he, and that is what brings the downfall. If that is what does what? Many people come, deals are taking place. It's a colored man. People, they are taking place. The police are coming. These are coming. These are coming. All those arm that made the head. I said, now, thank God he has reset his, he has reset to his banner. Everybody has a banner. As you are sitting down, you have the banner that you hang up across your life. And you know the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit, we cannot tell lie. I can tell you it's my banner. But if it's not, you cannot. Before God and before the devil, before the gate of you cannot fake it. This year, the Bible says, set up your banner. Your banner. Your priority. Your banner. Your aim. Your plan. Let God be in the center of your plan. Because it makes a way. The Bible says, in the name of our God, we set up our banner. The, and that is the reason why the Lord fulfill all your petition. Actually, he said, when you set up your banner in my name, when you seek me for, he said, all other petitions are additional. Goodness and mercy. Longevity. Let God stay. Favor. I that am standing here, I'm a living, you know, testimony. That if you can set up your banner in the name of the Lord, the evangelism becomes your priority. That the weather is cold, it's minus, it's not outside. If you can go to supermarket and buy worldly food, if you can go to go to any other place, even when it's cold, I God, God weather was not disturbing. I must be in the presence of God. Setting your banner in the name, your priority in the name, your mindset in the name. Where you go, what you go, in the name of the Lord. The system also has a name. Your situation you are going to has a name. They set your banner in the name of the Lord. He said, now, no I that the Lord said is anointed. When you are talking about the anointed, the book of Peter made us to know. In the New Testament, we've discovered that you are now, we are a royal priesthood. We are all in the office of a priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are peculiar people. You are you and I, and we carry the anointing of God. As you are sitting, every believer in the New Testament, the day is coming, I'm going to bring the Ark of the Covenant to the church. The small part of it that I took, that they gave me as a gift in Jerusalem. You see, in the, in the Bible days, in the, in, in the Old Testament, they don't have access to have the Spirit of God inside of them as we carry the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God do fail upon them. And they will do what they will, they can prophesy. But we live in the time that we are all the anointed of the Lord. And guess they are anointed. The Bible says, Jesus, how, how God anoint, 
Jesus of Nazareth. With what? With Holy Ghost. If you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, hello? Amen. Look, uh, out of the Apostle Paul says that, he says that, and you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The Holy Spirit, he make, he, 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 the Holy Spirit is the generator of the anointing. When you are talking about the anointing, you are talking about the Spirit of God in the clear vessels. The Spirit of God inside of you. And the Bible says that you will receive the power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you become my witness in Jerusalem, in Judea. In another world, we are all become the anointed of the Lord. One of what the anointing help us to do is to validate Jesus. It's because anointing make you to be a witness. A witness of who? Jesus. When you are the local, you realize that witness are very important. Well, there are many times that you can, it's not, it's not easy to know the right or the wrong. This one says this scripture is mine. Another one says it's mine. A judge need a validator, a witness. Who will say, I saw it. It's for pastor. So it's not for pastor. So. And the Bible says, as anointed, one of the job that God gives to us is for is for your life to validate Jesus. For your life to witness Jesus by supernatural and by miraculous. The people see you, they say, hey, look at the life. I, I know you now. They, I, I, I. The people can look at you when it's supernatural. The people, supernatural make people who thought there is no God. Supernatural submit them to know the obedience of Christ. We are going to pray right now. He said, he will hear you from his holy heaven. And with the same strength of his right hand. This evening as we are going to pray. The Lord will answer your prayer. Amen. He will save you. Amen. He says, some trust in chariot. And those one, those that trust in chariot, when they live, when they set up their banner, look at people's life. People set up their banner of vanity. People set many banners on wealth, on riches, on names, on connection. He says, some trust in chariot and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Those that trust in chariot, whosoever does not set up his banner in the name of the Lord, what we have in verse 8, they are brought down and fallen. But you are rising and stand upright. Yes. And he says, Say, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Let's rise up and we pray. Yeah. Let's rise up. Thank God for the word. The word of God is so powerful. What did I say? Yeah. The word of God is so mighty. The word of God is the validator of who good God is. I want to say, Lord Jesus, uh, I thank you for my life. I thank you for my life. I thank you for my life. Because you will help me. Because you will help me. Your, your word will validate his power in my life. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate Jesus. Appreciate you for your word. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. you Yeah, I'm 
Enjoy the spirit of God.
Il 
to shape. In this year, oh God, I shall rise and be on top. In this year, oh God, there will not be any shadow of darkness. In this year, oh God, I possess the gate of my people. In this year, oh God, I shall rise and be on top. In this year, oh God, I possess the gate of my people. In this year, oh God, I shall rise and be on top. In this year, oh God, I shall rise and be on top. Whatever I do, I shall not do it alone because he is going before me. He is laying that table before me. In the name of Jesus, they can tell you, they can tell you, they can tell you, they can tell you, they can tell the Lord in the house of the
Help me to set my banner. Help me to set up my banner in the name of the Lord. Help me to represent you. Anywhere I am, Lord Jesus, help me to represent you. To represent your power. To represent your glory. To represent your blessing. To represent your word. Help me to set up my banner in your name this year. In the name of Jesus. Lift all your voice and begin to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. We are praying, Lord.